So, so looking at the payment standards that, which are evolving in their complexity. So what we're seeing is we're seeing contactless payments, we're seeing digital payment applications, mobile wallets, changing the way that people are shopping. Behind this, the regulations and compliance requirements placed on the businesses are also coming in in order to ensure that the data is protected and that businesses have a, an environment in which this innovation can evolve more quickly. And these standards are moving really fast at the moment. And so it makes the breadth of technical compliance broader than ever for organizations to have to manage. At the same time, the demand for the skilled resources are increasingly hard to both retain and obtain within that, which is driving the cost of managing your compliance up. Now, within this environment, there are solutions that you can use. You can take expertise from Stanchion and the partners that we work with to help help you manage some of the processes better. And you can also use collaborative tools. This will help solve for internal shortages in skills that you may have and provides a more efficient route through managing your, um, your compliance program. So if we take a look at the landscape, Chris will talk about 3D Secure 2 and how this is it actually introducing some additional complexity into the process. Yeah, so um, obviously with Stanchion, we've been, we've been helping a lot of customers go through these changes recently. And uh, the key one at the the moment and one of the most complex that we've identified is the introduction of 3D Secure 2. So that's the replacement or upgrade of 3D Secure version 1, which had been around for over 10 years and was proving more and more unpopular with retailers and merchants. The introduction of 3D Secure 2 has brought along strong customer authentication, and that is two-factor or, or multi-factor authentication to ensure that each transaction has a degree of improved security. In addition to that secure, strong customer authentication, we've got the ability to capture 10 times more data than previously. So there's a whole array of data that can be taken from the device that's uh, originating the transaction from and use that data to, to help in the fraud algorithms to decide whether the transaction should be challenged or whether we can we can go along with the pass-through authentication. So the aim obviously there is to try and make that journey simpler and faster for the customer, reducing the number of drop transactions. But without implementing this change and understanding all the, all the variants that need to be tackled throughout your system. If you're not sending this data to the acquirer or the upstream entities, um, you're more liable for the fraud and increasing your risk significantly. So we've got 100 new data elements to manage. And with that, only the riskiest transactions will go through to that additional cardholder verification. And the, the issuer can, can customize that challenge page um, to, to really get that brand flowing through the customer journey, removing that situation where a strange un, unbranded page would pop up as part of your customer journey. And so we've got a much smoother integrated solution. And we've got iOS and Android SDKs enable um, native device payments to take on that SCA functionality, again, improving uh, the transaction journey. So we've been involved in multiple projects. We've been helping a large UK supermarket integrate all the changes across that flow. And that's a hugely complex project. And we've been uh, building components for service providers for um, authentication modules for three secure for two service providers. The other area that we've been focusing on a lot and seeing a um, majority of our customers come to us and ask for help is the, um, the introduction of the new uh, PCI standards for contactless payments on the uh, merchant's phone and tablets. And so that's, that's ensuring that with the rise of um, touch devices, there was no security standard around it to ensure that they were totally compliant. And so that's been introduced. Obviously, if you're not compliant on this new channel, in reality, you're going down a journey where you're going to be unable to take mobile initiated payments in store and that just such a, a growing and large market at the moment that no retailer can really take that risk and we're also seeing changes to the um, HSM world so we're looking at key block and key separation that that are essential to be implemented on your hardware security modules and your cryptography functions to ensure, ensure that your data that you you've encrypted taken a lot of effort to encrypt is actually encrypted securely and not vulnerable to attack we've got the um, skills and the partnerships to help you in both these areas. Taking a look at this, there are 10 areas to manage that we would recommend. And Chris will just quickly walk you through some of those areas. Yes, so we've got our KPI-driven compliance updates. As Norm's just mentioned, this is Stanchion's product. We have um, created our KPI blueprints that allow you to take a base level and then map your own KPIs on top of it and give you the ability to continually track the performance of your business. We've got our HSMs, our cryptographic management solutions 
solutions, and that's both the physical and cloud HSMs, and that's with our partner Futurex and Virtucrypt. Um, obviously, the key key point to make there is the cloud HSMs leading provider and groundbreaking provider of fully virtualized cloud-based solution for your cryptographic needs. As I explained earlier, with our workflow solutions for GRC with our partner SureCloud and our automated PCI filtration of event logs and single pane of glass for managing various security devices. We've also got our regulatory and payment scheme licensing with our partner at court. We'll, we'll be able to help you obtain and register for your various licenses for payments. We've got our, our own outsourced payment scheme compliance, which I talked through earlier, and our ability to help you with the integration and implementation of 3D Secure 2, PCI DSS and PCI contactless and HSM requirements. And with SciShore, we're able to offer you um, our on-demand continual training and also give you that cybersecurity insurance and assurance from Leader Team, the global insurance broker.